Today is Sunday the 31st of May, the last day of May and I must say that this has proved to be one of the most trying summers we've had although we're not really into summer it's still late spring but we haven't had rain for the last 10 weeks so everything is bone dry and it's quite a job watering all the trees we have at the moment three guys watering in the field and in the greenhouses and in the tunnels so it's been a very difficult year what i'm going to talk about today is the satsuki azalea satsuki there are all sorts of ways of pronouncing it some people try and copy the japanese by pronouncing it satsuki it is spelled s-a-t-s-u-k-i you can pronounce it satsuki whatever but you all know what we mean satsuki azalea are these azaleas that flower in the fifth month of the oriental calendar so although it is june uh, the fifth month of the oriental calendar is the fifth month or what we would call june in european calendar but the orientals call it the fifth month and they have these beautiful multicolored flowers all on the same tree i'm going to take a walk around the nursery I don't want to distract you with all the other colors that are around. There are thousands and thousands of varieties of Satsuki Azalea. These are trees that I imported more than 30 years ago. They've become so large. I love them. I sell a few from time to time, but because these are mainly large Satsukis, not everyone can afford these large, big trees. We sell the smaller ones like these ones here. They only sell for like 300 pounds, but the large ones are in the high thousands. And as you can see, there is such a wealth of color. Everywhere I turn, you will see, look at this one. This has got this deep red, and then there are some with pink and red stripes, and some are just pink, all on the same tree. If I turn here, some of them Again, that's another one fairly similar. Look at this one. This is a massive tree. Look at that tree. That mega trunk. Excuse the weeds. I don't have time to weed all the, all the weeds. But this is a gorgeous tree with mauve flowers, white flowers, and then mauve and white as well. So at the top of it is pure white. Then there are mauve. And of course, there are so many trees with different names that I can't remember all of them. This is another rare one. This is one. I think this is a son of Corin. It's called K-O-R-I-N. And the bees just love it. Look at the bees. I remember when I used to go to Japan, many of the Satsuki growers used to be beekeepers as well because the bees just love it. Look at the bumblebees on that flower. And this tree has this pure white flowers a few flowers that have a pink stripe and then one odd branch which is deep deep cerise pink all on the same tree and this is a valuable tree look at the nebari there as i say excuse the weeds this has been a very trying year so we haven't got around to weeding all the trees so this is only one section of the area where we grow them these trees by the way have stood out right through the winter. They haven't been put away, so they've experienced some nights when the temperature went down to minus 10. And uh, generally, the winters in the UK are only about 5 to 10 degrees during the daytime. And the odd nights, we go to freezing. And once or twice a year, you may get a couple of hours when the temperature drops to minus 8 or minus 10. But generally, we have a very mild winter look at this one this is one that's pure white and then you have the odd mauve flower with the white center so every tree is different now this one has got white and then we've got red flowers on the same tree these trees need to be fed heavily and pruned heavily i don't have the heart to do it because if you do it you've got to force them into growth again this is another stunner Look at the flowers on this one. Deep cerise pink. And then on the same tree, you've got this soft 
softer pink, lighter shade of pink. And there are the odd white flowers as well. There's some white flowers there on the other side of the branch. So on this tree, there are three different types of flowers. They all have different names. Uh, I won't go through the names because even if I were to tell you the names, you would never remember it. There is what we call a Satsuki Encyclopedia. And we used to carry this around. This is more than 20 years old, maybe 30 years old. When I used to go to Japan from 1986, right up to last uh, 2008 or so, I used to buy lots of these Satsukis. And of course, there are specialist Satsuki growers which have thousands of these varieties. I'm just going through the list of some of them and look at it. There is Shien, Geki Iken, Yakushima, Shirai Tonotaki, Yatano Kagami, Meiko, Eiken, Waka Ebisu, and so on and so forth. Just this book, which is, as I say, more than, I would say, 30 years old, 1990 book, there are about 2,000 varieties. I bet there are many more varieties nowadays. So, there are lots and lots of these satsukis with different names. Unless you're a very specialist collector where you are collecting different varieties. Some have got big leaves, some have got small leaves, some have big flowers, some have small flowers. Um, the ordinary person is not really bothered about the names of them as long as they're pretty. Many people like the multicolored azaleas because they are unusual. So, and of course, a lot of them do have multicolored flowers on the same tree. Now, let me just walk to another area. We've got about three or four areas where we keep our Satsuki azaleas. And by the way, the most common, uh, two common ones are Kaho, K-A-H-O, and Gyoten. So these are the two very common ones. Wherever you go to a bonsai nursery, they will invariably have kaho and gyoten uh, to show you and up for sale. Now this is our tunnel area. This is a shade tunnel. So this is only providing about 40% shade. And these trees stay here right through the winter. It freezes, but it doesn't get the overhead frost. Some of these azaleas I would just like to mention to you they are about four feet tall look at that one that is four feet tall every bit a large tree again i'm not sure of the name but look at it it's got those soft pink flowers you've got deep pink flowers you've got some with stripes in the flower so they're absolutely beautiful and that is why people grow them and then this one is a monocolor one. Although I say it's monocolor, it's a mauve plant, but there are different shades of the mauve. There is this deep mauve. There is deep mauve here. And then there's light mauve with stripes in the flowers. Look at it, the stripes in there. So this is another common variety. So how beautiful is that? So some more of these big, tall satsukis. Excuse the weeds. These weeds have literally grown in the last 10 days. Now this is another pretty one. I don't know if I've got the name there. No, it just says red and white. <laughs> so this one has got the white with pink stripes. You get this complete red flower and then there's some red which is slightly different in color although we say pink look at the stripes on those pink flowers and then there's lighter pink with stripes darker pink with stripes all on the same tree and then if we move here I'm still on the left hand side this one is predominantly white. Look at the stunning white flowers on that one. When we used to go to Japan, they used to have these Satsuki exhibitions and competitions in the first or second week in June. I remember in Nagoya Castle,
they used to have a massive mega exhibition of Satsuki azaleas. In those days, back in 1990, video cameras had only just started appearing on the market. So I'm afraid I don't have any video footage. I may have some photographs of these exhibitions, which I, I think I've shown you in a previous video, some of these examples. But believe you me, it is so overpowering when we see thousands of azaleas. You can't take it all in. Now this one, although we say it is predominantly white, you get the odd white flower with one little bit of red in it. And then the same part of the tree, you get some trees which are just that soft pink all on that tree. People can't believe that you can breed a tree with this sort of coloration. Now, if I turn around here, that is some tree. Look at it. Massive flowers. Look at the size of the flowers. So you've got this pink flower, you've got the white flower, pure white flower, absolutely pure white. And then you have some white flowers with just a hint of a pink streak. You've got white flowers with a lot of pink in it. So this tree has such a lot of variation. Look at that. And this one is just pure pink, nothing else. So that one tree, although we say it's pink and white, there is white, there is pink, there is pink and white, and variations of shades of pink and white. That is some tree as well. I can't remember the names of all of them, but if you took the trouble to go through the Satsuki Encyclopedia, you can soon trace uh, the variety. That's if you're bothered about it. And this is the common Satsuki. These are sold as like semi-cascade plants. See, that's the Japanese name there. If you can read it. These, by the way, are not satsukis. These are just ordinary azaleas which we make into bonsai. So that's a different kettle of fish. They bloom much earlier, far earlier than the other ones. Now, this is yet another one. Every one is different. So again, pink and white, but the flower size and flower shape is not the same as that one. Now this one has got small leaves. There are small leaf azaleas and the flowers are small. You see how small the flowers are here? Like double flowers, double, double flowers. And yet when we turn from here to there, these are what we call the bigger flower ones. And there one, there's one at the back with predominantly pink, dark pink, soft pink. This one has got red and white. And this is a massive tree, even when it's not in flower, you can see the size and shape of the trunk. It's almost like a mighty oak tree. Look at that old trunk. This one is much later in flowering. So the Satsukis, they flower from the end of May right up to the end of June and some even go on to flower in early July. And when a tree is in flower, the flowers usually last two weeks. And if you are lucky and you deadhead it regularly, you may get it to uh, last for three weeks. So this is the second area of our satsukis where we have, I would say, three, six. I've got about 20 large specimens here. Now I'm going to walk into my greenhouse area because sometimes when the satsukis are struggling or you want to grow it on, I take it to the back greenhouse and that back greenhouse is like an intensive care unit where we bring them on intensively with a lot of heat. This is another one which is again predominantly white but there is one odd pink flower. And this one, of course, is just predominantly pink. This is a customer's tree. That label, 80 years old, was supplied to him in 1988. So you can add another 30 years to this. So when I bought this tree back in 1988, it was already 80 years old, according to the Japanese grower. 
and it's still alive. I gave it a very heavy prune this year to open up the trunk and this is this massive tree. It's standing next to my split trunk maple. I haven't got to the back greenhouse yet. I'm just going to go there. So I'm going to take you to the back greenhouse, which as I said, is used as an intensive care unit. And these trees are forced. I'm going to prune them hard after flowering. There's one there. Again, three types of flowers. I've got pink flowers, dark pink, cerise pink, light pink and white all on the same tree. And while I'm walking by, look at my mulberry tree, mulberry bonsai. They've turned ripe. These beautiful mulberries, they can eat it. I'm going to eat it. And this is it when they are not quite ripe. They turn black. Although they're black mulberry, they're called Morris. Yeah, Morris uh, Nigra, this is. So this is where we have some more satsukis, big ones. You see, they're very sparse, so I'm going to prune it hard and force the feeding uh, and force it to grow. So they will bud back from the old wood. I remember when we used to go to Nagoya back in the late 80s, our agent took us to a satsuki grower and that satsuki grower used to prune the trees from the middle of June, because that's when the rainy season starts in Japan, from the middle of June, June 15th or so, the rainy season begins, and that's when they will repot most of the azalea. So if they're not uh, completed their flowering, they will still repot it, and they will cut the branches hard back and put them in these plastic tunnels. I remember going into some of those plastic tunnels with my wife Dawn, and I kid you not, the temperature used to be about 45 degrees maybe even 50 degrees centigrade in the tunnel, hot and steamy. You went in there, it was like a sauna. You couldn't last two minutes and you would have to come out. These poor trees haven't been watered yet. I'm going to water it soon. So this is where they stay and I'm going to give them a hard prune. This tree, for instance, you see the apex has died. Otherwise, the rest of the tree is beautiful and I'll have to regrow the apex so someone can buy it as a cheaper tree. Ah, uh, this is a complete tree, nothing wrong with this one. Some of them, if they have sparse branches, they're going to be pruned hard and force the branches to grow again. I can't remember the names of all the uh, varieties now because remembering all the names is quite a task. Uh, I used to remember it. This one with the slight more flowers, I think this was Waka Ebisu. And the soft pink one, that is probably Gyo Ten. Kaho is the red and white one. But this is not Kaho and Gyo Ten. We, I used to buy very rare azaleas. So these will be pruned hard to force the growth. But it just shows you how pretty some of these trees are. This is a particularly beautiful one because the value of a tree, a lot of people don't appreciate, depends not just on the rarity of the species, in the case of Satsuki azalea, but the beauty of the tree as well. Look at the nebari on that tree, and the thickness of the trunk, and it tapers all the way to the top. So this is a valuable tree, even when not in flower, it is a beautiful evergreen tree. Talking of evergreen trees, the Satsuki azalea is semi-evergreen. It doesn't lose all its leaves, but in the uh, winter, towards the end of winter, coming into early spring, they will lose quite a few of the leaves. They can lose up to 50% of the leaves. The old leaves will die before the new leaves emerge. So this is the nature of the satsuki. Not many people appreciate it. But the secret again with the satsuki is just to feed it well. Don't neglect the feeding. And as you can see, I've jumped the gun a bit, I put fertilizer on it, 
while it is in flower, usually you put fertilizer after flowering to force the growth. But I've put fertilizer before it came into flower. No worry, because I'm trying to um, really hasten the growth. So, and we take a lot of cuttings as well. So here I am in this tunnel. And these are cuttings. These cuttings are two years old. We made them two years ago, so they're quite mature and they're about four to five or six inches long. And you can see the growth that comes, lots of new growth. And these are cuttings which I took in the autumn of last year. Some of them I think have struck. And while they're growing as cuttings, not all of them are rooted, they're already flowering. Look at it. So they're very easy to strike from cuttings. If you use the current year's wood, that means let the new growth grow for a couple of months till get, they get semi-hard, like this is new growth here. If you take these long shoots here, break them off about two inches long and then insert it in just uh, PT type soil and within six months they should root and you'll get lots of flowers. So we grow these young plants because a lot of people like to buy these cheap little cuttings and um, they are ever so easy to propagate. So let me end by showing you again glimpses of these lovely, lovely trees. That one, look at the trunk on that. That trunk is about 12 inches across. That is a big, big satsuki. And look at it. Up the trunk, the roots are growing inside the trunk. That's how they propagate themselves. Some of the growers in Japan keep the satsukis under cover when they are in flower because they don't want the rain to damage the flowers because in the rainy season the rains are very heavy and the flowers can get damaged. But you have to deadhead the flowers. These flowers have only just opened in the last week. So when the flowers finish like this you've got to deadhead it, pull it off and you will still keep getting more and more new flowers. We are going through this very hot summer, so the shade tunnel helps to keep them from drying out. And the flowers of the satsuki are very thirsty. They draw a lot of moisture. You may not believe it, but they do. And if you don't water them regularly, not only will the flowers wilt, but the leaves will wilt as well. So on that note, I will end. I would just mention that when I first started the nursery back in 1986, for the first few years, first three years, whenever we used to go to Japan, my wife used to say to me, please buy satsukis. And I was very proud and arrogant. I was always a lover of maples and the evergreens and flowering trees were not my type. A lot of purists don't like flowering trees because they feel that it is, um, you know, a bit sissy sort of thing to do and uh, you like the manly trees which are the great big black pines and the junipers and flowering trees are more for ladies and because in Japan which is mainly male dominated society um, these satsukis are a special taste and I still remember that there used to be these satsuki associations in Japan where, of course, there are mainly men though, but there are a few women members. And they used to just grow nothing but satsuki. They didn't used to grow anything else. So it is a very specialist form of bonsai. So the satsuki has a special place in Japan. So if you want to see the satsukis in bloom in Japan, go in the first two weeks in June. If you leave it later than that, you will miss the flowers. Middle of May is too early, so I used to go after the Chelsea Flower Show was over. So the first two weeks in June, my wife and I used to go to Japan just to watch the azaleas in bloom. And of course, that's when you can select the azaleas because you can see them in flower. So on that note, I will end this. And of course, when it comes to repotting, I have said already on other occasions what you should do. 
I'm just talking aloud. In Japan, because when we used to go in June, we used to see them repot the azaleas after the flowers are finished and the rainy season. So they used to do it in the rainy season. And because it is so damp and humid, whatever repotting you do will not fail. In the UK and Western Europe, if you flower, uh, wait for the flowers to finish in June, it is dry and hot. And if you did the repotting then, you may get away with it, but I don't think it's ideal. I still remember speaking to one of these very famous Satsuki growers in Japan uh, about 10, 12 years ago. And he told me that the winter time, early February is a very good time to repot azaleas. You will sacrifice some flowers if you prune it hard, but that is a, indeed a very good time. So nowadays we do the repotting of our Satsukis in February before the flowering season. So don't follow what the Japanese do slavishly because they have a rainy season and they can repot after the flowers have finished in the middle of June. But in Western Europe and Northern uh, America, Canada, you cannot repot safely after flowering. The best time to repot in the Western Hemisphere is in the very early spring. So you've got to adapt your methods to suit your climate and this applies to all bonsai. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of the satsukis and because it is an imported tree they take years to grow into big trees outside Japan so we only sell small trees and small cuttings but if you want big trees I'm afraid you have to buy imported material. So on that note and homing into this great big tree again. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, tour. And any questions I will be happy to answer on the YouTube comments in the usual manner.